In this tutorial, we're going to create a countdown timer in Doodly. You can use Doodly to make countdown timers for your videos. Use them to create interest at the beginning of a video or add a sense of urgency for upcoming promotions and events. You could even use them to count down the number of minutes until an activity starts or anything else you can think of. So let's do a couple of quick countdown timers. Now, Right here at the very beginning, I created very simple, just a clock, and it's gonna show the clock increasing in time. So you'll notice my first scene, I have the clock with the time, and then the second scene is identical. The only thing that's different is the time changes to 16, and then the same with the next one, 17. Now, to create this, all you do is you create your initial scene, okay? And you have it drawn however you'd like, and then you make sure at the very end of the scene by clicking scene settings you make sure there is no exit animation so turn that off and then your next scene you're, you're going to right click and choose duplicate to create your next scene and you're going to change the 15 to 16 okay so that's all i did is i typed in 16 and then you want to make sure that nothing draws on here so you want all of these to be a zero duration okay and then you just duplicate that scene the same way. Right click and duplicate. And this time it's going to duplicate it with your zeros already in place. This one I hadn't done. So it's going to duplicate all of that. And the scene settings is also going to duplicate your exit animation. Okay. So all you would need to do is change the number, which I had already done. So let's do one more. I'm going to right click duplicate. All of my zeros are in place and my exit animation is also set to none. And all I'm doing now is changing the number. So now it's 18. I do that again, duplicate, change this to 19. Do one more, right click, duplicate, 20. Now, if we preview this, it's going to move pretty quickly because these are only a half second each. And you'll see. So I have my clock being drawn on, I have my instructions, my time. And now it's doing a quick count. Okay. If you would like this to go longer, you can add a delay before the number comes on. So if we really wanted it to match time, we would add a 60 second delay here before 16 comes on. And then we would do the same for each scene. 60 seconds. And so on. And then that way it would play in real time. Let's move on. Now I've started this, I gathered my images already, but I haven't arranged them. So I have, I found these on Pixabay or one of those sites, just countdown film strips, and imported them into Doodly. Then I have an old school television, and I would like the television to draw on. And then I want my timer to come five, four, three, two, one. So I want my first timer, it's number five, and I probably don't want three seconds, I probably just want like a one second. And I'm just gonna arrange these so that they're all in this spot. Once you have it lined up the way you like it and you want all of the others to be on top of it in the exact space, click the gear icon. You can't really see it here, but it's there. And write down this X450, Y, whatever the number is, you know, 224 in this case. Write those numbers down. And then you're gonna do the same for each item. You're gonna click it in the side panel you might not be able to see it, it might be covered, but you can see the gear icon. And then you're gonna type in those same coordinates of 450 by 224. And at least just gonna move that into place. So now let's do number three. Two and one. Okay, so everything is lined up beautifully in my scene. So I have my television coming on for two seconds and I'm going to have the hand draw my number five for the countdown 
but I don't think I want him drawing each one. So I'm gonna turn these to zero, the duration, to so each of the remaining ones. And then I'm gonna use the delay to set the amount of time before they appear. So I'd like a one second delay. So it's gonna be five, four, three, two, one over the course of five seconds. So the number four image gets a one second delay. The same with number three gets a one second delay. Same with number two. And our last one. And then after this plays out, whatever you have next, maybe you have a title for your video appears, okay? So let's go ahead and preview this scene. Comes our TV. He's gonna draw that. And then boom. Well, that's pretty cool. I think the delay's maybe a little too long, so let's go down to half a second. Preview one more time. Yeah, and that's cool. And then finally, let's do one more. It's gonna be like that initial sequence with the clock counting up, but this time we wanna count down. So for example, let's say you're gonna have a webinar and you're gonna log in five minutes before it actually starts and you want something on the screen. Well, how about a countdown timer that goes from five minutes down to zero minutes? That way when people log in, they'll see, oh, I've got three and a half minutes until it actually begins and they'll see it actually counting down in real time. So how would you do that? Well, let's go ahead and start. We'll start another sequence here. So now we have a blank page and we need some numbers. We can add a background if we'd like. Just to keep things simple today, let's just do the numbers. So this is our five minutes. Now we're not gonna go second by second. You can if you'd like. It'd take me a while to do that for you guys here. <laughs> so I'm going to go five like that. And then let's add some text just at the beginning. If you want to change the color, you can certainly do that. Let's make this red. Okay, so that's our first scene. Okay, so I went ahead and deleted the preceding scenes. Now, we have five minutes until the webinar begins. Now, we do want to duplicate the scene because we want to then go down to four minutes until the webinar begins. So let's go ahead and do that. And now that's duplicated, but we're not ready yet to start changing things. Let's go back to our initial one. Let's make sure scene settings is turned to none. Unless you want it, you, you can certainly have it change. It's fine. But we're going to turn it off. And then I probably should have turned it off before I did this. So make sure this one is also turned off. We're back at the first one. Now, we need a full minute before this one comes on, correct? So let's go back to scene settings. And how much time do we want at the end before it transitions? We want 60 seconds. So now I have this very long scene and then I have my second one. And the same thing, we want this to also be 60 seconds. And again, I could have done this before I duplicated it. So now I have two scenes that are one minute in length each. So the second scene, all we need to do now is go in here and change it from five to four. And you can decide if you want it to, the hand to draw it on or not, okay? It can just appear if you'd like. But it might be kind of cool to have the hand come in and erase and then put the next number. Just add a little bit of interest. So we'll do that. And then once again, duplicate. Once again, change it. So now we're just going to duplicate it and change it, duplicate, change it. Now at this point you might want to do a 10 second timer as you get closer. It's up to you, but I think you get the idea of how to do it. So let's just go ahead and take a quick peek and then we'll be done. Okay, obviously we're not going to watch the entire minute at a time here. Let's just see if we can get to the transition. 
and that's your transition. You could fine tune that. I would change it a little bit, but I think you get the idea of how that works. And that's the basics of creating countdown timers in Doodly.